For the safety of your smile, use Pepsodent twice a day. See your dentist twice a year. Again this week, Pepsodent is proud to entertain the men and women in our armed forces. Tonight, Pepsodent brings to United States Navy's midshipmen at Notre Dame University, South Bend, Indiana, the Pepsodent Show, starring Bob Hope and his special guest, Herbert Marshall. Don't be stubborn. Thank you. <laughs> How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Bob broadcasting from the United States Naval Reserve Midshipman School at the University of Notre Dame in Notre Dame, Indiana, Hope. <laughs> Take me out, coach. I'm through. <laughs> Telling you, midshipmen, you brush your teeth with Pepsi, whether you're an admiral or a ship's baker, and when you get to Japan, you'll capture a lot of territory without getting a single acre. <laughs> Well, here I am at Notre Dame, the school that went from educated toes to educated boots. <laughs> That's what they told me. I can't help it. <laughs> but the commanding officer, Captain Barry here, was nice and invited me to make myself at home on the campus. I liked it, but I still think it's better to sleep in a room. <laughs> And these midshipmen really have got that college spirit around here. Every time these Navy bar barbers see a sailor coming, they get together and yell, raw, 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 raw. <laughs> we did a bond show last night in the Notre Dame Stadium. I wouldn't say it's big, but what a thrill it was to stand up there in the back row and look down at South Bend nestling on the 30-yard line. <laughs> Elkhart was on the 10, but Notre Dame... Notre Dame is now housing the Navy's midshipmen. You've all heard of old sea dogs. Well, these are the puppies. <laughs> you just heard them bark. And now, and boy, they're really young. I was in the washroom today using an electric shaver, and four guys were in back of me waiting to plug in their electric trains. <laughs> so you, you can hear they agree. <laughs> Bendix Aviation has an airplane plant near here, and the other day they had a little excitement over there. They thought one of their test pilots had bailed out, but it turned out to be a midshipman who'd been on the double so much he took off. <laughs> and they have a golf course right next to the school here, and these midshipmen even play golf on the double. Yeah. The other day, one of them was three holes ahead of his ball. Sounds a little like Crosby. And this school, this school is two miles from South Bend, 90 miles from Chicago, and 800 miles from New York, and the line of the Mets Hall passes through all of them. <laughs> I don't know how long, I don't know how long that cafeteria line is, but three guys at the end of it starved to death when the government cut down on Len Lee. <laughs> and what? Wait till the finish, fellas. <laughs> And what a wonderful selection of steaks they have at that cafeteria. I ordered a... St <laughs> Honest, that's a straight line, fellas. <laughs> what a wonderful selection. I ordered a filet and the waiter said, what kind, Shetland or Pinto? <laughs> See? See, if you'd wait, we'd all have fun together. <laughs> When the Navy first took over this place, they had a lot of trouble because of the girls' school being right across the street. In fact, it took six months before they could teach the fellas to do their drilling on the ground. <laughs> Poor Miriam, poor Miriam, selected using Ethereum. So she waited for things for the phone to ring. Hello. Wrong number. Uh -oh. Hello. Wrong number. Uh -oh. But folks don't be like Miriam. Use No matter how many toothpaste you've tried, no matter how good a job you think your present brand is doing, change now to Pepsodent Toothpaste, 
And in just one week, see if you don't find new brightness in your teeth, new sparkle in your smile. You see, Pepsodent, and only Pepsodent, contains irium, the exclusive cleansing ingredient. And Pepsodent toothpaste with irium removes the film that makes your teeth look dull. It loosens film and floats it away quickly, easily, safely. Because it removes film, Pepsodent toothpaste with irium brings new brightness to your teeth. No wonder more people than ever before use Pepsodent toothpaste today. No wonder it's number one with the armed forces. So forget other brands you've tried. Change to Pepsodent toothpaste with irium. And in just one week, see the difference. See if your teeth don't feel cleaner, look brighter. See how it uncovers the natural brilliance of your smile. Ask for refreshing Pepsodent toothpaste because Pepsodent and only Pepsodent contains irium. Dear Miriam, dear Miriam, now she's heard of irium, so the telephone ring is the busy thing. Hello. Some number. Uh Uh-oh. Some number. Uh So folks just be like Miriam. Use Miriam. Miss Jenny Ennis. Every time, every time, every doggone time, I fall in love. I get a shoving around every time. Every time, every time, every doggone time I try romance I'm taking a chance on losing my mind I'm gonna learn to be a hermit And live in a hermit's cave Until I lose those blues my sweetie gave to me I'm gonna burn my bridges behind me I'm gonna hide out in bed you can look, but you'll never find me Behind the eight ball again Cause every time, every time, every doggone time I fall in love I get a shoving around Every doggone time I'm gonna learn to be a hermit And live in a hermit's cave Until I lose those blues that sweet gave to me I'm gonna burn my bridges behind me I'm gonna hide out in there You can look, but you'll never find me Behind the eight ball again Cause every time, every time, every doggone time I fall in love I get a shoving around every doggone time. That is our skinny in it. Thank you, skinny. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to meet a great guy and a great actor, the man who takes over for us here on the Pepsi Show during the summer, Mr. Herbert Marshall. Thank you, boys. Say, they are boys, aren't they? Yes, sir. They're, they're really young, Bart. They're all 18 or 19, with the exception of one or two fellows who are about my age. <laughs> oh, are there, some, uh, are there some admirals in the audience? <laughs> How can you say that, Herbert? Just look at this bill. Don't you think I'd make a good midshipman? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not, Bob. Why not? Too much mid for one ship, man. <laughs> Listen, Marshal, you better watch your step. You know, just because I'm getting a little old, don't think I'm not plenty flabby. (laughs) Say, I ought to read this stuff before the show. (laughs) But tell me one thing, Bart. How did you happen to choose this show for the summer? Well, truthfully, Bob, I didn't really choose it. I just waited too long, and this was all that was left. (laughs) 
I don't think you realize which side your toothbrush is pasted on. <laughs> and it may, may be a little strange for you to follow me, Bart, on this show. After all, you and I are entirely different types. Thanks, Bob. We'll skip that last track. Why? I can't think of an ad lib. By the way, uh, <laughs> Bart, what's the name of your program? The name of the series is The Man Called X. The Man Called X. I wonder why they chose that to replace me. Well, uh, well, Bob, it's a mystery, and they wanted to keep the same type of program. <laughs> well, look who's here. Francis Langford. Well, there you are. Gee, Francie, these midshipmen like you. You really brought down the house. Did I? Yeah, but their eyeballs were still holding up the walls. <laughs> oh, Fran. Francis, I'd like you to meet Herbert Marshall. He's uh, taking over for me, you know. Oh, hello. So you're taking over for Bob. Yes. And, uh, by the way, uh, what are you doing tonight? I mean, would you join me for cocktails, the theater, dinner? This boy's really taking over. <laughs> uh, Bart, you haven't got a chance with these midshipmen around. You mean the midshipmen have cornered the market? Well, I don't know about the market, but they've certainly cornered every place else in town, including Sweeney's, the Club Lido, and the Melody Bar. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you Wait stockholders? What are you doing? <laughs> what a... Sweeners, the uh, Club Lido, the Melody Bar, are those watering places? <laughs> if they are, W.C. Fields must own the reservoir. <laughs> well, anyway, Bob, these midshipmen do better than you do. That's because they acquire polish here at the midshipmen school. When these midshipmen enter Notre Dame, they're a little on the eager beaver side, Bob, and after four months, they come out a smooth ensign. Really? <laughs> well, yeah. That's what they told us, anyway. <laughs> well, look, Francis, let's explain it to the folks some more fully, and to confuse the audience, Herbert, you be the eager beaver, just entering... <laughs> Wait, we got something worked out. Wait a minute. Just entering Notre Dame, and then in the next sketch, I'll play the same guy four months later. Some eager beaver music again, please. Boy, it sure is solid being in midshipman school. I think I'll latch onto this park full of girls. Yes, sir, man. I'm on the beam to snag a dream. Man, I've never seen so many girls in a park before. It looks like Mother Nature's USO. There's something on that bench over there. Bet you I can click with that chick. Well, what's knitting, kitten? You well, grew up with sailors? <laughs> well, I didn't get this purple heart driving a tank for General Patton. <laughs> All right, doll. Hit me with those lips. <laughs> Parker, and step into my office. <laughs> well, don't you even want to know my name? I only take names when I go to six hour pass. <laughs> a lot of yourself, don't you? Oh, I shouldn't I? You know how all the sailors have a girl in every port? Yes. Well, mine swim out and throw the boat in. <laughs> Come on, dream, start living. Don't be a square. <laughs> if you go out with me, I'll give you a present, a bottle of surrender. $25 an ounce. Wait a minute, surrender is only $10 an ounce. I know, but this is unconditional surrender. <laughs> a character, aren't you? Sure. How about you and me stepping and doing some jitterbugging? Oh, can you jitterbug in that sailor suit? Do I jitterbug? Watch, I'll show you. Look, look, now, now, watch this breakaway. Watch this breakaway. <laughs> Oops. Broke away in the wrong place. Four months, the same guy becomes an ensign. 
Oh, gosh, I can hardly believe it. This is my first day as a full-fledged ensign. <laughs> Hello, handsome. Be dead already. I must start paying the price. Oh, well, I wonder if I should take another walk past the girls' school and mow them down again. <laughs> no, why let them look at me free? Don't you remember me, Robert? I'm Francie Langford. Oh, quite to be sure. You notice, of course, that I'm an ensign and just think someday I'll be an admiral. Someday you'll be an admiral? Yes, of course, it may take eight or nine months. <laughs> I bet, I bet you're surprised to find me on top of the heap. Oh, I knew you were an ensign. You knew I was an ensign? How could you tell? You dress so neatly. You have a lovely crease in your water wing. <laughs> oh, you look so wonderful, Robert. Do you mind if I hold your arm? All right, but don't cover up my stripes. <laughs> It's wonderful being an ensign. Regular sailors have to show me so much respect and always salute. Watch, here comes one now. Hey, you, sailor, how about saluting me? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> well, that's better. Gee, Robert, couldn't we sit down someplace? We sure could, Francis. I'll make that sailor give us that bench. All right, Salt, back to your shaker. Get moving. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, I'd like to see him make me. You would, huh? Okay, I will. <laughs> see, I told you we'd get the bench. Now take it off my head. <laughs> Thank you, Herbert Marshall. We'll see you a little later. Here comes Francis Langford. Hello, Francis. Despite years of faithful brushing, despite any other toothpaste you've tried, see if your teeth aren't noticeably brighter in just one week after you change to Pepsodent toothpaste. You see, Pepsodent toothpaste contains irium, 
the exclusive cleansing ingredient. Tetsodent toothpaste with irium removes the film that makes your teeth look dull. It loosens film and floats it away quickly, easily, safely. Brings new brilliance to your teeth. So forget other brands you've tried. Change to Pepsodent toothpaste. And in just one week, see the difference in the brightness of your teeth, the sparkle of your smile. Ask for refreshing Pepsodent toothpaste. Because Pepsodent, and only Pepsodent, contains irium. Dear Miriam, dear Miriam, now she's heard of irium. So the telephone ring is the busy thing. Hello. Some numbers. Oh, oh. Well, let's go. Hello. Some numbers. Oh, oh. So oh, folks no. just be like Miriam. Use Just a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Here's something unscheduled. Coming out on the stage is none other than the old groaner himself, Bing Crosby. Not on my program. I don't. <laughs> Come back here. Get this imposter off of here. What is Come back here, old folks. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I have a special message for you. Now, be now. Watch this, this is from your please. sponsor. Really? This, this may be it. All right. <laughs> you find a nice. You easy mean I'm spot resting next there. season? Yes. <laughs> Will you move over for me? I may need. Here's what it says: Bob Hope, Notre Dame Navy, South Bend, Indiana. Be- because you, as always are so busy thinking about others, doing bond rallies, benefit golf matches, entertaining servicemen at camps and hospitals, you may not even realize that today is your birthday. But we do. This is just to wish you many more happy years. Charles Luckman, Pepsodent. Happy birthday. Oh happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Go over, what is it? Happy birthday, dear Paolo. Happy birthday to you. I just got a cake and threw it in the audience. Well, now on to the show. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, South Bend is world famous for its automobile factory. I want a piece of that, though. Wait a <laughs> so Bob Hope has decided to open up a plant that. here. Okay. And you produce... say? What'd you say before? I said that you decided to uh, open up a plant here and what produce kind of a plant? automobile. Oh, automobile. <laughs> <laughs> so we take you now to the Hope Automobile Factory. Think, where's that? Is that in the script? Oh, yeah, here you are. <laughs> How about that cross? How about that? <laughs> This is the biggest frame up I've ever had. Where's the mic? Oh, yes, there you are. Hello. I'm not excited. Don't worry. <laughs> Look at tap steps. Get I'm going, going. Hello, Hope's Auto Factory. Get a Hope Mobile. Our cars are guaranteed not for years, not for life, but forever, Amber. <laughs> hey, Bob. Yeah. Here's a telegram just arrived for you. Yeah. Hey, it's from Washington Skin. We can make cars again. Reconversion is staring me in the face. <laughs> Who was that? Reconversion. <laughs> well, we got to convert the factory over right away. Where's my foreman, Professor Colonna? Coming, coming, oh, coming. Oh. 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 Large lunchbox. <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. Where have you been? Well, Hope, I just had a 38-hour conference with John L. Lewis. But, Coloma, that conference with John L. Lewis was only supposed to last two hours. What happened? Mustache got tangled in his eyebrows. <laughs> Colonna! <laughs> Colonna, you haven't got the brains you were born with. Naturally, Father couldn't make the last payment. <laughs> Colonna, is this your first time in South Bend? No, Hope, I was a Notre Dame football hero. I'll never forget the... The day Notre Dame was behind with a minute to go. Yeah. I put on my helmet, kissed my girl goodbye, and sped to the attack. You did, huh? College girl? Whack. Pretty? Sack. How'd it look for Notre Dame when you went in? Black. How'd you come out? Sack. <laughs> Boy. 
Boy, I ought to break your neck. Where are we? Kelowna, I just got word that reconversion is setting in. Well, don't stand there. Deal him in. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Kelowna, what color are you painting the new cars? Well, I hope you've heard of canary yellow. Yes, what are you painting them? Sinatra green. <laughs> well, whatever happened to uh, your assistant, Schwartz? Well, you know our slogan, we stand behind every car we sell? Yes. Dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> well, Kelowna... Keep things going. I've got to step into this office and see our sales department. Oh, Mr. Hall! Now, Miss Well, Miss Vera Vane. Yes, well, our little Notre Dame posy. Well, Bob Hoop, the man with the South Bent posy. <laughs> Say, so you're in our sales department, Miss Vane. Yes, I am, Mr. Hope. I took a prospect out for a demonstration last night, and I really put the pressure on him. Really, Miss Vague? What happened? Well, I don't know. The x-rays haven't come back from the clinic yet. <laughs> oh, boy, but I love being a salesman here, Mr. Hope. You know, before I came to South Bend, where all these handsome midshipmen are, I used to go from door to door. Well, what do you do now? I go from window to window. <laughs> You know, they're all Casanovas. Oh, no, not all of them, Miss Vague. My kid brother's a young sailor, and the first time he went out with a girl, he was so bashful he had to get a stranglehold on her and pin her into a corner before he could kiss her. <laughs> oh, well, give him... <laughs> Just give him time. <laughs> they did. Say, you know... Uh... You know, we're putting out a new car, Miss Vague. Yes. Which do you think we ought to concentrate on? A four-door sedan or a two-door sedan? A no-door sedan. A no-door sedan? What good would a sedan be with no doors in it? He's never been to me for far, has he? <laughs> Miss Vague, how did you find out about Leaper Park? Oh, I like this boy. He's silly. <laughs> I just went to Leaper Park to see the trees and the sap running. Really? Did you catch him? <laughs> oh, oh, you dear boy. <laughs> You're so breezy, and I just love to listen to it whistling through those holes in your head. Uh, pardon me, but I'm interested in buying a car. <laughs> Well, shall we talk it over? <laughs> Look, Bob, I haven't got much time. I want to buy a car. Well, Herbert, we've got something here that's unbelievable. Hello, Mr. Marshall. I see what you mean, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, I came in to buy a car. Uh, introduce me, Mr. Hope. Miss Vague, this is Herbert Marshall. Herbert, this is Vera Vague. The pleasure is all mine. The pleasure is all yours? Yes. Goodness, he's new around here, isn't he? <laughs> you know, Miss Vague, Herbert Marshall is the man called X. The man called X? <laughs> I wonder if X next. <laughs> uh, uh, really, Bob, I'd like to see one of your new cars All right, Bart, I'll call the showroom Hello, showroom, send a car over to my office right away Think I should have knocked? <laughs> Thank you very much, folks. I'm sorry we're late. We have to go. Thank you. Goodbye. Captain <laughs> Inc. has brought you this program from South Bend, Indiana. This is Wendell Niles reminding you to always use Pepsi. How about that blackout? you like that? The so product... kind of timing we have now. <laughs> Pepsi Dent, the product that's number see one in, with See in Indianapolis and Omaha, Topeka. Come in. Say a few words, Wendell. Good night, Oh, Thank you very much. This is the National Broadcasting Company.